While everyone else is racing toward an electric future, Toyota just threw a curveball that has the entire automotive industry doing a double take. Picture this, an engine that roars like a traditional sports car, delivers the punch you'd expect from gasoline power, yet emits nothing but water vapor from its tailpipe. Sounds impossible, right? But Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine isn't some far-off fantasy. It's already tearing up racetracks in Japan and quietly reshaping what we thought we knew about zero-emission vehicles. This isn't just another alternative fuel experiment. This is Toyota betting big that the internal combustion engine isn't dead. It just needs a different kind of drink. Here's where things get fascinating. Most people know about fuel cell vehicles like the Toyota Mirai, which use hydrogen in a chemical reaction with oxygen to generate electricity that powers a motor, but hydrogen combustion engines take a completely different approach. They burn hydrogen directly through modified fuel supply and injection systems adapted from gasoline engines. Think of it like this. Instead of replacing the engine entirely with an electric powertrain, Toyota took what already works and gave it a hydrogen makeover. The heart of this revolution is a modified 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine from the GR Corolla and GR Yaris. And it's not just a simple fuel swap. The engineers had to get creative. Hydrogen burns faster and hotter than gasoline, which means everything inside that engine block needs to withstand some serious punishment. We're talking hardened valves that can handle extreme temperatures, beefed up connecting rods to manage the intense combustion forces, and specialized fuel injectors designed specifically for hydrogen's unique properties. The beauty of this setup is that combustion in hydrogen engines occurs faster than in gasoline engines, resulting in excellent responsiveness, and while having outstanding environmental performance, these engines retain the fun of driving, including sounds and vibrations except for trace amounts of engine oil burned during operation, the same issue gasoline engines face. Hydrogen combustion engines emit zero racing as a development lab, but here's what really separates dreamers from doers. Toyota didn't just build this engine and call it a day. They threw it into the most punishing test environment imaginable, endurance racing. Since 2023, Toyota has competed in Japan's Super Taikyu Endurance Series with the hydrogen-powered GR Corolla, making it the world's first vehicle to race using liquid hydrogen fuel. And this wasn't just for show, it was a rolling laboratory where every lap provided data that would take years to accumulate in normal testing. The results are absolutely staggering. Over the course of one Super Taikyu season, Toyota increased hydrogen combustion power by 24% and torque output by 33%, achieving dynamic performance on par with a conventional petrol engine. Range was extended by around 30%, and refueling time dropped from approximately 5 minutes to just 1.5 minutes. Think about that for a second. In a single racing season, they nearly doubled their refueling speed, and gain power that matches gasoline performance. And who's been behind the wheel evaluating all this? Toyota Motor Corporation President Akio Toyota himself, racing under his driver name, was one of the drivers testing the car and the liquid hydrogen breakthrough. Now, let's talk about what might be the most crucial leap forward, the switch from gaseous to liquid hydrogen. Early prototypes used compressed gaseous hydrogen, which worked but had limitations. Liquid hydrogen doubled the cruising range with the same refilling time of approximately one and a half minutes. But maintaining temperatures below minus 253 degrees Celsius during filling and storage posed unique challenges in developing fuel pump technology for low temperature environments and preventing hydrogen from naturally evaporating. The weight savings alone were remarkable. Over two months of development, Toyota reduced the GR Corolla H2 concept's weight by over 50 kilograms, making the car faster and more competitive. But the real innovation came in packaging. Since liquid hydrogen operates at lower pressure than gaseous hydrogen, custom-shaped tanks became possible. Toyota changed to an oval tank design that made more efficient use of cabin space, resulting in one and a half times higher capacity than cylindrical tanks, doubling the hydrogen volume and cruising range over previous compressed gaseous systems. Using liquid hydrogen eliminated the need for equipment like compressors and pre-coolers required for compressed gaseous hydrogen, meaning the station footprint could be, uh, four times smaller compared to gaseous hydrogen stations. While hydrogen combustion engines grab headlines, Toyota has not abandoned fuel cell technology. They're advancing on both fronts simultaneously. In February 2025, 
Toyota announced its third-generation fuel cell system designed for commercial sector needs with durability matching conventional diesel engines, significant improvements in fuel efficiency, substantial cost reductions compared to previous versions, and planned expansion to heavy-duty commercial vehicles with market introduction in Japan, Europe, North America, and China after 2026. The improvements are substantial. Durability increased up to two times that of the prior generation, achieving durability comparable to diesel engines with a maintenance-free design. Fuel efficiency improved by 1.2 times the prior generation, allowing for 20% more cruising range. For commercial applications where downtime equals lost money, these durability improvements are absolutely crucial. Since launching the Mirai FCEV in 2014, Toyota has sold approximately 28,000 units across more than 30 countries and, since 2019, has supplied over 2,700 fuel cell systems to more than 100 customers globally for applications including buses, railroads, and stationary power generators. Toyota's strategy represents a calculated diversification in an industry often chasing a single solution. By developing hydrogen combustion alongside fuel cell and battery electric technologies, the company is positioning itself to meet a complex global landscape where energy, availability, infrastructure readiness and consumer preference vary dramatically. The hydrogen combustion engine in particular serves as a powerful bridge technology. It offers a pathway to deep carbon reduction without demanding that enthusiasts, industries and entire supply chains abandon a century of mechanical refinement and expertise overnight. The emotional appeal of the traditional driving experience, the sound, the vibration, the mechanical feedback, is preserved, making the transition to zero tailpipe emissions potentially more palatable for a significant segment of the market. The real-world testing and endurance racing cannot be overstated in its importance. Motorsport has long been a crucible for innovation, pushing components to their absolute limits and accelerating development cycles at a pace impossible in a laboratory. Toyota's participation in the Super Taikyu series is a masterclass in this practice. Every grueling hour on the track is a stress test for seals, injectors, tanks, and engine components under the combined pressures of high speed, heat, and competition. The rapid improvements in power, torque, refueling speed and range are direct dividends of this race to develop philosophy. It transforms theoretical challenges into immediate engineering problems that must be solved between race weekends, providing invaluable data that de-risks the technology for future consumer applications. Why not just electric? So why bother with all this hydrogen complexity when battery electric vehicles are already here? Toyota's answer is simple, one size doesn't fit all. Toyota believes placing all eggs in the EV basket is unwise, remaining committed to its multi-technology approach, including hybrids, plug-in hybrids, battery electric vehicles, and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles to meet different customer needs across the globe. Consider the practical advantages. Hydrogen refueling takes minutes comparable to gasoline, while EV charging takes hours, even with fast chargers. For commercial fleets and long-haul applications, that time difference is operationally critical. There's no reliance on lithium and nickel, rare earth elements with problematic supply chains and environmental concerns surrounding their extraction. And here's the kicker. Hydrogen combustion leverages existing internal combustion engine technologies, meaning the massive global manufacturing infrastructure for conventional engines doesn't become obsolete overnight. The infrastructure challenge, here's the elephant in the room, hydrogen fueling stations are scarce. The biggest challenge Toyota faces is the lack of hydrogen stations. With access to hydrogen very complicated currently in many places, you can build the world's best hydrogen vehicle, but without places to refuel, it's just an expensive paperweight. The good news is the market is expanding rapidly. The hydrogen fueling stations market is expected to grow from $0.5 billion in 2024 to $188 billion by 2030, with a compound annual growth rate of 23.8%. That's serious investment flowing into infrastructure development driven by government incentives and corporate commitments worldwide. And remember that liquid hydrogen advantage Liquid hydrogen stations can be four times smaller than gaseous hydrogen stations, dramatically reducing real estate requirements and construction costs. Toyota's own Port of Long Beach Processing Center built a first-of-its-kind tri-gen system with fuel cell energy that uses renewable biogas converted to hydrogen, producing 2.3 megawatts of electricity daily. 